And then I can't leave off. I can't, I can't leave off Demetria Carter, right? We interviewed her um, some episodes ago. I'm going to link that episode down in the show notes. She's a former uh, track athlete for Baylor University, and she is the creator of Tiny Talks. So one thing that Demetria has been able to do is she now runs the social channels for Team USA. For Team USA people, and she had an innovative idea. Now I look up and I see her getting interviews with some of your favorite athletes. Every time I look up, I can go down her page. I see her interviewing, let's see, she uh, here she's interviewing Masai Russell. Here she is interviewing, here, here she's interviewing uh, Shamir Little. Here, she's interviewing Sydney McLaughlin. Here, she is interviewing Trayvon Bromley. I can just go down and all of the people she's interviewing have significant followings. Why is this relevant here? This is a whole bonus tip for whoever stayed and was rocking with the pod and still listening. By way of her interviewing these people, she is doing something that I like to call content hacking. It's actually interview hacking, right? When you interview people who have a following that's greater than yours or have a little bit more influence or traction on social channels, when you share that content, and of course, they're going to push it out because you're interviewing them, right? They're excited. They just won this race. They won that race. They're going to share it. So now, by way of her being the one with the microphone, because the one who has the microphone is the one who has the power. So by way of her being the one with the microphone and doing the interview, now she gets to push it out. They're going to share it. A benefit for her is going to be more traction to her page. More people come in. What, who is she? What does she do? What is this? What is she doing? Oh, how many other people has she interviewed? Oh, she interviewed some of my favorite track athletes. This is how you work media.